So welcome again, everybody. And um, we're here today to have a, a nice hour of calming art, I think. And um, for those who haven't done my um, Zoom art workshops before, welcome. And um, intuitive art, I, I think, is very much um, tuning in with the heart. That's what I always say. So we'll start off straight away, because it's only an hour. We'll start off straight away with just um, trying to forget about what's gone on in the past week or so um, within our homes, within our lives, within the world. Let's just be a one hour of selfishness for ourselves. So, um, and that's OK that we can do that. So we'll start with just a little um, connecting, connecting with the heart, where I feel all of our intuition and all our love and guidance comes from. So we'll start with just a little connection with the heart. So just um, allow yourself just to breathe, do some gentle breathing exercises, just to let go of all the things that no longer serve you at this moment in time. So just put your hand on your heart and feel that life force from your heart beating. And just do some, in your own time, some gentle breathing. Just breathe in and breathe out in your own time. And just relax. If you feel any tension in your body, just gently sense where that tension is. Breathe in and release. You breathe in and release. And know that we have a beautiful glow of light around us, guiding us, protecting us, and allowing us to find this calm in this day. And as we bring ourselves back, our attention back here, to where we are, to where we can see each other. We think about the exercises that we're going to do today in intuitive art. Now, what is intuitive art? What I feel intuitive art is, is just going with your feelings, going with the, with the gut feelings. I will give you exercises to do, but it's how you feel when you're putting that information on paper. Now, you can use whatever things you have. I have crayons here. I have. I have some very grubby pastels that I've had for years, but I love them. So whatever you, you find, crayons, pencils, children's pencils. And you don't have to be um, worried too much about what you're going to work on. Even if you're in a place where you can't um, access stationery like this, if you don't have pound shops around you, then you could always use cardboard boxes, um, anything around the house, discarded boxes you can use to paint your ideas and feelings on. So today, if we can just take a moment, we're going, going through the first exercise, and we're just going to really rub our hands together. And this is a way of bringing in energy. Those of us who are, I, I believe we're all natural healers, but those of us who are workers healing, healing energy, when we rub our hands together, it really brings in that lovely, lovely energy. So we're going to rub that energy, our hands together, rub that energy together, and then slowly, 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 if this feels comfortable to you, we're then going to put the palms into our eyes. So put your, your hands into your palms of your eyes and just breathe. And what do you feel when you do this? What do you see? How do you feel? Just sense how your body is feeling. If you see colours, just make a mental note of those colours. You may also see images. So we let go and release. We now bring ourselves into this moment where we can create. And we bring in that lovely energy that's within all of us to create. So look at what you're seeing, what you're feeling. And then slowly, when you're ready, gently move your hands away from your face as 
Do you see more colours maybe coming into your vibration? You may see more colours. The colours may change. And as you slowly open your eyes, look at the materials that you have in front of you. Look at the colours, the pencils, the paints. And just start to feel to draw what you're, what you're feeling and what you've seen with your hands to your eyes. Just let that go and look around at your colours. Use whatever feels comfortable for you to use and just start to put those colours on the paper. It may come in as a form Whatever form you saw, whatever feelings you felt, try to just let your hands go. Don't try to think about what you're doing. Just let your hands go into the colours that you saw. Don't try to analyse anything. I'm not going to tell you what I saw because I don't want to influence anybody in any way. This is all about you, what you saw. What colours did you see and how does it feel? How does it feel now that you're putting these colours or these images on paper? doesn't matter, doesn't matter what it looks like and just feel really the freedom, here we've got the chance to be free, we've got an hour just to shut ourselves off, be free. What colours did you see first of all, what colours did you see afterwards? May not may not have seen any colours. May have saw may have seen figures. And how do you feel when you're putting these colours, putting your images onto canvas now? How is it making you feel? Do you feel happy? Maybe just put a word on the side of your paper about how you're feeling at this moment. And remember, there's no right and there's no wrong. Is everyone feeling okay? Everyone's okay, yeah? You can also put your hands back to your face again if you want some more inspiration, some more ideas, more colours.
give you all a little bit more time. Okay, how are we all going? So what I want you to do now is just to have a look at your wonderful creation. And how do you feel about this creation? How does this creation make you feel? Make you feel happy? Does it make you feel happy? <laughs> Would anybody like to share their happy painting? Oh, lovely. Very nice. Isn't it interesting that colours are very similar? Wow, beautiful. Very nice, Maria. Lovely. And so when you did that exercise, I know it's hard, um, is it possible, Helen, just to take the people off mute just for a moment? Yes, yeah. everybody can unmute themselves. Yeah. And so, also I should be able to unmute people here too. Because um, if anybody would like to just say a quick word about how they felt with that exercise, with with the darkness, with their hands by their eyes, and then what they felt when they released. Would anybody like to say what their painting was and how they felt with that exercise? Hands up, anybody? Manju, yes? Yeah, I just felt like I wanted to be on the beach looking up the sun <laughs> coming out. Oh, lovely. Don't we all? Yes. <laughs> Very nice. And Helen, you had your hand up, Helen? Helen, yes? Um, mine, I just felt really fluid when I was looking, when I was looking at what I could see under my eyelids, it just felt like a fluid thing. Beautiful. Um, so the action of that was really fluid as well. Lovely, thank you. Anybody else like to share? Is that it? Maria? I, I felt uh, a sense of Darkness to light. Yes. That, that's where I was going from. You know, real darkness. Yes, lovely. To light, kind uh -huh. of. You know, springtime. Light at the end of the tunnel. That's where I was going. Very interesting. Similar to mine. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. Anybody else? Jody, do you have? Would you like to share? No. Okay, that's fine. No worries. Okay. Well, mine was this. Mine's. I also was in. Um, it was very dark, and it had golden. I had like golden sparks. And then as I started to move my hands away, I got this beautiful um, golden light that came with, like a flash of light that came in, and then lovely pink colours, which might have something to do with the light in here in the, in the studio. But um, it felt very happy. I felt very happy um, doing this painting. And I think for a lot of us, it's, it's good to have this little time out so we can lift our energy and lift our spirits a little bit. I think it's very important at this time. So we have, um, was there a word that anybody put in the beginning, the word that they were feeling? Did anybody manage, anybody manage to put a word there? Priya, yes? What was okay. your word? 
Yeah, I was feeling happy. I've had a very good day today. Oh, lovely. But I've been up since I've half a school, baking and cooking and everything this morning. Nice. And taking food over to my daughters and I'm having a really good happy day. And then, as a result, I, I kind of just was very happy with all the pink colours and the mm. trees coming up here. Lovely, on. beautiful. So, um, so it, yeah, so I'm yes. happy today, so that reflects my happiness today. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you, Fia. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we'll then go into um, the next exercise. Um, so we'll just take another let go, release, breathe in. And let go, breathe in and out. Let go. And then visualise, and if you can visualise in your mind's eyes, first of all, um, a window. Visualise a window. And using the power of intuition, your feelings, how would you then put that window onto your canvas, onto your paper? What form, what feelings would a window take? Would you be looking in or looking out of that window? How big or small is that window? What does it feel for you? If you were sitting looking outside at a window, what would that window look like? And would you be looking in or out? And what would you be seeing? What would your eyes be seeing? What would you be feeling when you look out of that window? Just take a moment just to think about that or put your paint brushes to canvas, your pencils to canvas. And you've got that window in front of you. The power of visualization is very great. The power of intuition is even greater. doesn't have to be a masterpiece, it's just what you're thinking and feeling.
beautiful thing about art is that you can get lost in it. <clears throat> Real meditation in these times of confusion in the world, meditation and calming art exercises are ideal to still the mind.
Okay, how are we going folks? Are we nearly done? We could go on forever with these art exercises because you can get so carried away but the thing is you could always finish them like I always say you could always finish them afterwards and add what you want to add. So another couple of minutes and then we'll see what we've done. I've kind of had a flash from the past hair doing this. I've got the old curtains that my mum used to have in the in the living room. <laughs> flash from the past. <laughs> Let's have a look then, what, what we've all done, you'd like to share? Oh lovely, Laura, beautiful, Helen, Jodie, oh wow, fantastic, beautiful, oh love. oh my gosh, we've got professional artists here, <laughs> beautiful, really lovely. Very nice. Well, it's very interesting. I straight away, I started to draw the red curtains that my mum had in the living room many, many years ago. She used to have these red satin curtains. <laughs> so there's my mum's red satin curtains and somewhere there's a sunset and the ocean. <laughs> looking out. So I'm looking out onto an ocean and a sunset. <laughs> And so again, well done everyone, lovely drawings, Laura, let's, Laura, yours again Laura, beautiful, really lovely, and Helen's, very nice, right. two Helen's, lovely, beautiful, Manju, Lovely and colourful, beautiful, very nice. Priya, do you want to share yours? Priya and Maria, beautiful. Well done everyone, excellent. And did you find that easy? Was it able, were you able to visualise that window and to feel that window? Yeah? And did it bring back any kind of memories? I mean, for mine, it brought back, it did bring back quite a strong memory. Did it bring back any memories for anybody doing that? It did for Jodie. Excellent. Lovely. Lovely, wonderful memories, I hope. So, what, um, what, sorry, what are we doing for time? What's the time now? I just realised I didn't bring my clock in. 19 minutes. 19 minutes to? No. 19 minutes past? 16.42. Okay, mm -hmm. lovely, great, we've got more time. So there we have the exercise number two. Um, the, um, the other is, how many people have got uh, using paints? Is everyone using paints? Has everyone got paints? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Because I thought we'll go back um, for the last exercise, just like going back into time, school, school days, and um, having a piece of paper, whatever paper you have, and choosing randomly choose three four colors choose four colors that you want four colors or uh, tubes of paint that you have i don't know this might bring back some memories for people so if you just put your paintings aside and with your piece of paper blank piece of paper you're going to squirt the three or four colours that you've chosen onto the paper, onto the middle of the paper. So just squirt a little bit of colour. I don't know if those of you remember doing this at school. So I'm choosing red and I'm choosing 
blue. I'm going to put some green and yellow in there as well, I think, in the middle. Oops, that was a lot. Right, so once you've chosen your colours, you then you're going to put them paper together like so. So enough to fold together like so. And then press it down. Might be a bit, bit messy like mine. <laughs> And then when you're ready, you open it up, into a beautiful painting. Now if you keep that in front of you now, and what we're going to do is intuitively work with what you have in front of you. So we're going to put that down now and use your hands or use your paintbrush and see what images you can make from this little, well I think it's quite beautiful already <laughs> to be honest, but see if you can change that into what you feel wants to come out from you intuitively. The colours that you've chosen Can be quite significant as well but we're not analyzing we're not doing therapy art therapy today <laughs> so just move the paint brushes where you feel you want to place those colors what flow you want to do you can also use your hands if you want to get messy Even fold it again once you've done that. I'm going to fold it back again. I'm going to fold mine again and see what comes out. You can add layers and layers and just try again. Beautiful. I always find that this hour goes far too quickly when you're enjoying yourself.
this is a really good um, exercise as well to do with children at home to keep them occupied to keep them occupied and also to help them find their creativity and you can repeat the exercise again if you choose to good to use something like board on this. And on your painting you can just write a few words, it could be simple words of um, what you see or how you feel. Um, I'm looking at mine and I put freedom and butterfly.
Okay, folks, we have six minutes. So when we're ready to share, if you'd like to share your painting, Um, my painting, I have love, hope, butterfly, and freedom. Ah, beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, amazing. Oh, I love these. Is that a lovely exercise to do? Beautiful. Very nice. Lovely colors. Butterflies again. Lots of butterflies. Beautiful, Laura. Lovely. So we're, we're about to come to the end of um, Helen. Did you see, did I see yours, Helen? Two Helens? Oh, lovely. Wow, look at those colors, very earthy. <gasps> Beautiful, thank you very much. Lovely. So we've got a couple of minutes um, just to kind of wind down a little bit. And I, I thought today, um, I've got these beautiful, beautiful cards, and they're called Universe Has Got Your Back. And um, I just shuffled them just a minute, a minute ago, and I, uh, I said, let's just choose one for the group here today. So um, a couple kind of like jumped out, and so I thought I'll share them with you. They're beautiful cards. And the first card that fell out of the pack as I was shuffling was, when um, in alignment with love, of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. Isn't that beautiful? When I'm in line with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. And then the second card was, when I am connected to my joy presence, I attract support from the universe. So two beautiful cards there. And also, what is the universe to you? What does the universe mean to you? quite powerful. So at this time, it's important to do exercises where you can connect with your heart, connect with this lovely energy that's always around us, and to um, help your families as well to connect with, with that lovely, peaceful calm, because we all, we all need it at this time, just to find um, something to get away from uh, the, the, the monkey mind or the, the chatter that's going on on on, on around us so um, just find your time and with your family to you know embrace all the love and the energy that's around us and just take a just take a minute now just to close yourself down I always like to um, just cover ourselves with a lovely light and just take a moment to close your eyes and connect with your heart again I'd like to thank you all for being here this afternoon and thank you for supporting the Steve Sinop Foundation. <laughs>